Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. We got a new ship to take a look at today, a tier eight cruiser here, more of a battle cruiser, certainly given the gun caliber, the shill here. This is gonna be a graph speed, but at tier eight. Uh, notably, you're getting the same guns with a few tweaks. You do get cruiser dispersion here, which should be pretty incredible given the gun caliber and the AP alpha that we're gonna have. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind with this ship is going to be it comes with a reload booster. <laughs> so, yeah, flanking is going to be kind of nuts with this thing. Unfortunately, getting it, it's just going to be loot boxes or very, very expensive. Uh, it seems pretty standard these days, unfortunately, for a lot of these ships coming into the game. Uh, but you've probably already seen it since I'm a little late to this ship. Uh, in the armory, you do have the option of purchasing a chain of loot boxes with the chance of getting the ship. At least at the very end, you will get the ship, but you do have to spend 23,975 doubloons, which is quite a lot for a tier A cruiser. We'll see how good it is today. Um, no mention, unfortunately, of if it's going to be available later for a more reasonable price or for an in-game resource. Unfortunately, all we have is this event so far, which uh, isn't great, at least some of the time, giving us the option to uh, have it later for a cheaper resource uh, would be nice to see. Armor-wise here, it actually looks okay. Uh, 27 is very nice against 380s at this tier. We even do get an icebreaker here, 30 millimeters, pretty good. Only 120 on the sides, but since it's German, we do get ourselves a turtle back. Uh, it's very steep sloped though so we'll see how actually useful that is uh, typically the more effective turtlebacks are much more angled than that you can see here with like a turpitz for example uh, the angle is just much much more useful for bouncing shells up and away from the citadel uh, but it is decent uh, armor here 60 millimeters behind that and then the last 30 millimeters so reasonably armored especially given that this is going to be a cruiser not a battleship of course and the citadel is Maybe slightly above waterline, waterline sit. Uh, so I don't expect to be taking a ton of damage there, uh, at least from citadels. More than likely, we're going to be staying angled anyway. Deck armor, 30 millimeters, so decent armor, I would say, for this ship. Um, weird superstructure. <laughs> I was going to say small, but uh, it's just short. It is pretty wide, though, certainly. Only having six guns, though, we'll, say, we'll see how that actually works. Uh, the commander here... I'm just going to run something like this. I'm still trying this outnumbered on some of these more battle cruiser types. Uh, trying to make, it make use of that 10% dispersion. Although we already have cruiser dispersion, so maybe that's not as valuable here. For the upgrades, we're going to look a little something like this. And again, just look at all these consumables, man. You get yourself a spotter plane or a fighter, but you get a spotter plane. You get a hydro or defensifier. So you get a hydro, <laughs> given how uh, some of those skills aren't the most useful. We still do get torps here, eight kilometers. Are those exactly the graph speed torps? That's, uh, that seems familiar, at, uh, at least. Our concealment here, 11.7, not too bad. Uh, and okay speed, nothing, uh, nothing groundbreaking there. But we do get a heal at tier eight, always feeling good. And uh, I think this reload booster could be pretty insane. So good thing we took a look at the graph speed, thanks to you guys in the <laughs> ship request series earlier. Kind of fortunate timing there, certainly. I had a pretty good time in it, so looking forward to seeing what this ship looks like. So getting into our first game here, we do find ourselves in pretty decent matchmaker. A lot of cruisers to look at. Uh, we're definitely going to try and take advantage of that. Come down to the south here, Nazuma. I mean, that's potentially a really nice target to go after. Uh, a lot of torps to worry about, though. Well, I guess we'll see how this goes. It's angled. I might want to wait for that. We'll use our hydro for now. And we do have uh, plain ASWs, which is pretty cool. But we'll start like this. We don't want to over push in here. Still mid tier. See, turret angles actually look pretty good here. This is Zuma just going to stay bow in. It's unfortunate. Ooh, and the sub is on us. That sucks. OK, 
Okay, actually, pretty good hit amount of hits, to be honest. Like, pretty big deal. Even on an angled ship like this. Let's, uh, maybe use our plane here? Shoot the Kearsarge? There we go. Oh, that's not good for me. Uh, well, we might be dead here. I was not paying attention. Ooh, speaking of. All right, booster time. Nice, those torps are gonna miss. Wow, that front gun looks really accurate. Didn't lead quite enough. <laughs> okay, this thing might be really nice and fun to play. Another one? <laughs> Okay. Okay. I mean, you can, you know me. Accurate battleship or accurate guns. Accurate AP focused guns, man. Oof. That is what we like to see. Kearsarge is on Ichi, so I think that means I can actually turn here without taking too much of a risk. This cruiser coming out? I think he is. Aim a little high. Too high, maybe. Too high. Thought he was gonna do a full turn. Not sure about brawling this out. Your Sarge is a little scary. <laughs> but 43k, three citadels? Egg, man. Uh, yeah. I like accurate guns. Oh, Richelieu's on us. Way downtown. I'm pretty scared of the sub, though, to be honest with you. Oh, the Azuma's gonna get away. Ah, oh, too bad. I really wanted to find him. That's such a fun ship to shoot at. Maybe he'll be broadside enough still? Let's see. Ooh, submarine is, like, really close. I'll send one out for him. Ah, uh, over pin bounce. Not enough. What's Kearsarge doing? We do have 8 kilometer torpedoes, too. Oh, he's here. Let's see there. Decent angles here as well. Like that. Fletcher. Flash damage, I'll take it. Far away now. Fortunate. Hmm. These torps aren't worth going for. Oh, he's got HE! Let's go. I mean, that could still hurt. No, we're good. Can't decide which way I want to go. I really... Oh, we're Citadel like Kearsarge! Let's go. I wanted to kind of cut back this way to get an angle. Um, but I'm worried about showing flat broadside to a... Caracello there. Again, I should probably be using my booster here a little more. Once the Kearsarge is spotted again, we'll send a few salvos into him. Too low. Come on. Load the guns. No, where's our citadels, man? Okay, at that angle we have to aim up. Okay, AK into that superstructure. That's pretty good. Don't want to be stuck on the border here. One more should do it into the Kearsarge. Oh, nice. He's got his planes. Alabama from way downtown. Okay. Please. There we go. Okay. Don't have to worry about the Kearsarge once he uses his drop here. Should be good to go. Nice. 95k? 
Not optimally played at all, by the way, but pretty fun. Accurate guns, man. They're just too much fun. Really is unfortunate that the uh, event that this ship is locked behind is not particularly player friendly. Am I overleading too? Dang, okay. Nice, our officer does win that. Really good. So I think we're gonna see the HE be a pretty bad area of this ship. Oof, this game is nearly over. I should start using these more actually. So you got the AP, but that high explosive might be a pretty bit of a pain point. Try and use this island to block the Alabama a bit. Long range into a battleship. What do we do? Not much there. Kind of missed. Still six guns. Shell velocity seems pretty good though. Two thousand. Yikes. Oops. I'm gonna run into my teammate again. Whoops. I need to pay a bit, pay a bit more attention. Alabama is not pushing still. I'm scared of getting killed by the sub. 23 seconds though shouldn't matter. Maybe we're okay. Just Hydro, I guess. 103 though. Very interesting ship. Oh, okay, we're gonna do zero there. Definitely want to find cruisers. <laughs> you definitely want those cruisers, man. Although we did Citadel of Kyrs Arch, so maybe. Maybe it's just Richelieu. Oh my goodness, that, look at that. That is disgusting. Not much damage there, but imagine, you can imagine what that would do to a cruiser. Ah, oh, it's just too bad this event, man. Oh, it's so unfortunate. Like if it was a bad ship locked behind a bad event, it's like, okay, whatever. Dang, man. Okay, we go again. So getting into our second game here. Uh, all tier 8 matchmaker, quite a few cruisers, pretty cool. Although, sub, double sub carrier game. Not a huge fan of that. Oh, a cyclone. I do like to see that. Uh, this thing could be pretty fun. I don't know if I'm going to flank all the way here. I'm certainly trying to. Definitely going to think about it. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's pop that just to make sure we get a good salvo into this guy. Unfortunate that he does go dark. I think that means I probably do go all the way around. Oh, the overbends, man. Unfortunate. But hey, the plane should allow us to do some damage here. To this Bismarck. That's pretty far, but. Let's see what we can do. No! Cleveland shows up now! Okay, Arzashio might just die here. Be a little tricky. Yeah, you hit a few. Okay, Benson's gonna turn a bit there. I actually don't know if I hit him. I got two. Yeah, not looking good for our Zashio. But we got to this big flank. Uh, we'll see how this actually goes since I don't actually have a lot here. Notice they're all going south, but. Mark's probably going to accelerate here. Although those are deep waters. He actually doesn't know they're there. Those are Azashios, I guess? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> and the subs on him. Dang, that sucks. Bit of an issue we're going to see here is certainly the speed. We want to flank. We desperately want to be flanking, but the speed is going to hold us back a little bit here. Getting around this island took a little too long. But that's okay. We'll make the most of it now. Yeah, the accuracy feels good, man. I do feel like we might struggle if peop if they're like flat broadside light cruisers. Um, just because of the arming time. I don't think it's short fuses here. Yeah, I'm actually going to wrap that. I don't feel like eating that fire right now. Problem solved, sir. We'll probably have that loaded by the time we get around this next corner. Oh, wait, do we want to get around this next corner? 
think we probably do. I don't really want to fight a kite in Cleveland. <laughs> Got a bit more overmatch, maybe. Pretty sure he'll just bounce us. Why don't I get some action, you know? Also, where'd the Benson go? Hmm. It might just be better to wait, guys. Wait for the Cyclone. Be a tiny bit patient. Okay, we get spotted. Is that the DD? Torpedoes astern. Possibly. Yeah, he's just gonna kite me. It's not gonna be very fun to deal with. Yeah. Okay. We'll wait. Oh, the fire chance. Oh no. Get our heal going. Yikes, man. I'm just gonna get torn up for free. Really nothing I can do here. So I guess I just have to disengage. This sucks, man. I wanna get some action for you guys. The game just doesn't allow it these days. Yes, I am letting two fires burn, by the way, because I'm terrified of a triple fire. Ugh, ugh, man. I want to have fun! The game just doesn't let you anymore. The ship is on fire. Ugh, okay. We'll go back. It's fine. It's fine. The carrier's on us, too. Good. We have to suffer. If we're gonna suffer, we may as well suffer, you know? We may as well truly suffer. Damn, he's gonna force me in here. Okay, we are dead. Great. So, you know, overall, I do, I would say, I wish this uh, event was a little different. Um. But you know, the ship seems pretty good. Wow, the fire chance today. Really? Benson? Dang, brother. Well, our team probably wasn't winning this anyway. So, you're gonna suffer if you push in. And you get RNG like this, certainly. Um, but you do want to be flanking. That is... kind of the ideal of this ship. Uh, unfortunately... Yeah, there it is. We are dead. Pushing is not allowed. So if you can, camp spawn and hope the enemy team pushes into you and gives you broadsides. I think that'll be the best course of action with a ship like this. Um, for its tier, it certainly does not feel nearly as tanky as a graph speed does. I'm not sure what that's down to, actually. Does, does the graph speed get more heals? I feel like I don't have very much healing here. Oh, the cooldown time! No wonder! I didn't notice that at all. Three heals and a two minute cooldown? Oh, no wonder that felt awful. It's like, man, I'm dying so free here. Um, yeah, no fire prevention to be seen on cruisers, even with the commander changes. Uh, that was misery. Yeah, see? Graph Speed gets three heals base, and it's only a 76 second, well, 80 second base cooldown. Yeah, no wonder that felt awful. So there you go. I guess that is the shill. Pretty accurate. The reload booster seems pretty fun, but you know how the game is played these days. Everyone just camps spawn waiting for some idiot to push in. And I'm always gonna be that idiot who pushes in because I like action. I wanna play the game, you know? And I usually pay the price for it. And we saw that in the second game today. So let me know what you think of this thing. I am a little late to it. You guys, some of you probably have it already. Um, no FP and just atrocious heal cooldown. Uh, it's probably going to ruin the experience for me at least. Although I might be a little biased thanks to that last game being so frustrating. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.